Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Check it out. Got a little something something in the mail from my good friend Andy at Goop Juice Hot Sauce. He uh, told me what's in it. I wanted to wait for the video to unbox it and get into this good stuff and see what we really have. any appendages in the process. <clears throat> All right. I got bubble wrap. Ooh, I'm going to be popping for days. All right. Orange bubble wrap. Look at that. Rusty Nail. That reminds me of that movie, um, Joyride. With Paul Walker in it. Rusty Nail. Hmm. Well, let's get into said Rusty Nail. <clears throat> he did tell me this has extract in it, so it's going to be pretty warm. Let me turn this light on so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Let's see. It's got Carolina Reaper, distilled white vinegar. Wait a minute. Hold on. It says distilled white vinegar. Oh, distilled water. Mm -hmm. Onion, garlic, carrot, capsaicin extract, cumin, and Himalayan salt, and xanthium gum. Shake and enjoy. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate this. So, what do I have to put this on? None other than Little Bit Spoon. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's going to be hot. I have not been doing hot stuff lately, so this is liable to light me up. on out of there. Let me switch. Let me switch hands. Because I'm right-handed, so it always works better if I do it like that. Ah, there we go. There's a good old heaping helping. <clears throat> well, without further ado, Oh yeah, that's hot. That's good hot stuff. Goop Juice Hot Sauce is a father and son hot pepper growing and hot I should I should have my specs on. Hot pepper growing and hot sauce crafting operation. One second. All right, we'll start over. Duke Juice Hot Sauce is a father and son hot pepper growing and hot sauce crafting operation based in Bullville, New York. That's warm. We use our homegrown super hots as well as the finest locally sourced natural ingredients to create our delicious sauce. Instagram at Goot Juice Hot Sauce. Bottled on 313.22. Keep away from children. <laughs> right? Well, that's got me probably about a, maybe a two, two and a half. That's that, man. That's hot. That is a really hot sauce. But, I did come prepared to get even hotter. A little chocolate. Boop. Oh, 
Uh, got my eyes watering a little bit. This stuff's hot. This stuff is hot. Mm. That ramped up a little more. About a three. Maybe a three and a half. Yeah, I can tell my tolerance is taking a dive. Might be at a four. Yeah, I'd say a four. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed, Andy. This is some... And, and it's... You know, extract tastes terrible. But this don't taste bad. It is really hot, but it don't taste bad. It tastes pretty good, actually. You did a good job on that. You know, it's still climbing. It ain't done. Maybe a four and a half. I ain't had a good burn in a while. Thanks again, Andy. I appreciate that. I think it's about done. My nose is running a little bit, of course. I'm going to say I got to a five on that. Whew. Yeah, it's a good burn. Need to get that tolerance back up. Pod season is fastly approaching. And of course, I've already still got pods, so never didn't. <laughs> All winter long. Got some decent sized bootlas growing right now. A couple, couple reapers coming in. I'll be able to pull them down and do another another review. <coughs> Excuse me, another review on those here pretty soon. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a five. And I think this sauce alone probably would have got me to a three or four. Yeah. That's good stuff. Thanks again, Andy. I appreciate it. All right, y'all.